week's Climate Matters, farming in the Pioneer Valley, the global population expected to hit 10 billion people by 2050. And securing enough food to feed that number is a growing concern for many policymakers. Meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff talked to several local farmers on the difficulties of farming nowadays. Jacob joins us now with more on that. Jacob? Farming is under increased pressure to produce more crops in a healthier and more sustainable way. This comes as an estimated 50 percent of all human-made methane, a dangerous greenhouse gas, comes from producing rice and raising cattle. So what is the state of our local farms and how are they dealing with the changing climate? Farming isn't just a way of life for Harrison Bardwell. You can say it's in his DNA. Bardwell is a ninth generation farmer here in Hatfield. His land has been in the family since 1685. Being here for so many years or having heritage of so many years going back uh, kind of feels like we're connected with the soil and with the earth here. The Connecticut River Valley has some of the best soil in the entire world. Still, farming is not easy and the changing climate makes it even more difficult in recent years. Heavy winds and flooding um, is just constant now. It's not, I don't, I don't remember the last time we got a nice steady rain for a whole day. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or the IPCC, recently reported with the increase of greenhouse gases, there's a high correlation between human-induced climate change and heavy precipitation or flooding events. That means for every one degree Fahrenheit in temperature rise, the air can hold 4% more water vapor. It's something that isn't lost on Bardwell. Um, sometimes Mother Nature wins. Agriculture is an important part of our economy here in Massachusetts, uh, and I'm a big believer that we ought to support our local farms. U.S. Representative and member of the Agricultural Committee, Jim McGovern. Flooding, um, you know, uh, diseases that have impacted plants, um, you know, even the challenge of raising cows uh, has become much more complicated and difficult because of climate change. McGovern goes on a yearly tour around Western Mass to gauge what is impacting farmers. Lately, there has only been one thing on their minds, the changing climate. The scientists have told us, you know, in, a, in the most clear way possible, that climate change is real and that we need to do something about it. We have one planet. I mean, let's be good stewards of our environment. Western Mass News caught up with Matt Mahar, the co-owner of Poplar Hill Farm in West Waitley, during a recent visit with McGovern. Farming is a challenge every day. That's just the way it is. If the weather keeps changing, you learn how to do things under those conditions. Farming in general is adapting constantly to, so you just adapt. You have to. You adapt or die. Who knows what the next 20, 30 years is going to bring us? Who knows what man's going to develop between now and then to, to help us with climate change? And both farmers I spoke with mentioned they use regenerative agricultural techniques like using cover crops, rotating their crops on their land, and going with a zero-till planting. These farmers are making changes on a local level and hoping they gather traction internationally. In the studio, meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff.